Hi there. So in this video, we're going to do two practice videos actually that are made by Jacob Clifford. And so I've already got the answers written because he actually goes through these in these videos. And I think they're fantastic. The very first one, I actually don't want you to watch the whole thing, just the first three minutes or so, right up to about minute 314. Um, and you're going to follow through. He explains how these answers come about, but they're fantastic. So go ahead, pause this video, open up Monopoly Graph Review and Practice, um, and it's called Micro 4.2 by Jacob Clifford. It's in the playlist. Pause this video. Okay, so now that you've paused this video, I want you to actually watch a second one with Jacob Clifford. And this one is only about two and a half minutes long. You're gonna watch the whole thing. And he makes the difference between what's called a perfectly competitive firm and the monopoly firm. And he distinguishes between those two. So this one is also in the playlist and it's micro unit four question one, monopoly demand and MR. Okay, so pause this video again and watch that one. And then I'll show you the answers to this one. Okay, so hopefully you watched his video and you kind of know the difference now between a price taker and a price maker. And a price maker is one that can make the price. They can set their own price um, depending on kind of where they'd like to, but the price taker has to take the market price. So the only price taker is a perfectly competitive firm where the price is on the demand curve and that also equals marginal revenue. We had Mr. Darp. Whereas a price maker has a scenario where the price is on the demand curve, but it no longer equals marginal revenue. Now in his example problem and in for all of these, monopolists their price equals marginal revenue for the very first unit that they sell, quantity one. Price discrimination, he talks about a little bit in this video, we're going to explore more later. It's the idea of charging different consumers different prices based on their willingness to pay. So it's not a bad thing per se. It actually is basically the producer trying to determine, are you willing to pay more? Okay, then I'm going to charge you more. Are you willing to pay less? Okay, then I'm going to charge you less. We're going to talk more about that one later. The last question on here, are there other price makers? He says it really fast towards the end. There are two others. All of the imperfectly competitive markets are. So monopolies, monopolistic competition, and oligopolies are all what we call price makers, where this is the key characteristic. The marginal revenue no longer equals the price. All right, so hopefully this helps you. See you next time.